All right, guys. Um, I wanted to make this video because I, I get the feeling that I was not honest to you. And you guys probably noticed that I haven't posted on YouTube for the past year or so. And uh, that's the reason why I'm here right now. I have thought about this for a while and I was very close on <laughs> never posting again on YouTube. But then I thought um, there's a couple of reasons why I'm here and why I want to talk about this. Um, I think I've lied to you with the videos that I made in the past. And uh, what I mean with that is you guys probably remember me and Alexandra, we were traveling in Latin America. I released two seasons of the Adventure Escape Diaries. And in the last season, we were traveling through Brazil. And sure, you saw our ups and downs of traveling, but probably thought, hey, there's Paul and Alexandra, another travel couple, another two people who seem to enjoy their lives and seem to go on and on about how beautiful it is where they are and what they're doing and uh, nothing seems to be standing in their way but that's just not true i i can't stress this enough i i know my the videos were received well and you guys enjoyed it and to watch the videos but in reality the reason why i've stopped is because life in south america was hard it was tough. We, we had tricky times. We uh, had so many problems and things went on and on and on. And somehow I just didn't feel right to actually continuously making videos where we talk about what the great things are and what we're doing. And we just didn't know how to continue with this anymore. And so uh, there was a time where I just thought I, I just couldn't do it anymore. I just felt like, sure. I could be honest and then make videos where I'm just talking about struggles all the time. But I kind of felt that if I do that, then the YouTube algorithm is not going to show my videos anymore. And so why even bother in the first place? And when I thought it couldn't get any worse, we, we literally had one of the worst couple of weeks in South America. And... We had problems with the car. We had problems, administrative problems. We had problems with each other. And, you know, we, we just didn't really know how to continue anymore. And what happened was I, I got a call. I got a call from my sister at that time. And, and she told me that my, my dad was in a coma. And um, they, they don't know how long he still has to live. And uh, this was already one of the worst weeks of my life. And I just realized that I had spent over three years in Latin America trying to make things work. And it just kept on getting worse and worse and worse. And... Uh, so me and Alexandra, we made the choice to book a flight and we went to Europe to see my dad and my mom. And times were tough. It was pretty bad. And I had a lot of time to reflect and to see what I wanted to really do with my life and why I, why I was even going through all these struggles in the first place. And so for the longest time I thought, okay, this is it. Like I'm not going to post anything anymore. I'm not going to talk about any, you know, YouTube videos, no videos at all. I was just thinking, I... I don't even want to share experiences if, if things are so tough. And I had, I had a huge breakdown. I just didn't know what to do anymore. I, I was completely struck by whatever life dealt me. 
and it didn't seem like I have any any real solutions for what life should be like and what I should do about this and so I just kept on trying to help out with my parents I kept on continuing and living and one of the things that really kept me going is that because of the videos that we had made there were people who kept on reaching out to me uh, to, to learn a little bit more about life in South America uh, getting residencies in Brazil in Paraguay and Mexico and I I offered those in one of my past videos. I said, hey, just, you know, if you guys want to, you guys just schedule a call with me and I'll, I'll tell you what I did. And that's, that's all I could really do. And I noticed that these were the things that really kept me going because it just, you know, it wasn't really my life. It was other people who had the desire to go and, you know, be in South America and, they wanted to know how that works and I knew so I kept on talking to people and this somehow kind of you know gave me this this feeling of peace and I knew that there were people out there who had similar desires who wanted to make things work for themselves and sure it wasn't me but it didn't matter it it was a good feeling so I just did that and, and essentially, this is, this is the reason why I make this video right now, because I realized that I, I, I need to be a little bit more honest about what it is, uh, what it means to live in South America. I mean, honestly, uh, why even bother if there is so many tough things that you will encounter there? Like, it's not easy. You, you will... It will be a hard, hard move, you know. If, if you decide to move from the United States or from Europe to South America, there, there will be a lot, a lot of challenges. And, and I feel like my videos so far, they haven't really portrayed these things correctly. And so uh, this time just gave me a little bit more opportunity to reflect about this. And so I chose to make this video to basically apologize for what I have portrayed so far but also to say thank you thank you for the things that were good right now and uh, also thank you for you know keeping and reaching out and, and doing things so from now on I basically I will just be able to have more videos like this and uh, just talk about the serious challenges that were happening in these times and so what I can do is I can answer your questions I can help with these things and I, I, I hope I can give you a bit of better understanding of what life in South America looks like so I, 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 don't, I don't really know where this is going and I, I really don't know um, what exactly it is that you guys want to know. But um, I thought I'll, I'll make a couple of videos and uh, in the next one I will be talking about um, Paraguay, life in Paraguay. I will talk about the journey that basically continued after our time in Brazil and uh, we traveled from Brazil to Paraguay and then back to Brazil, Bolivia, Peru, Ecuador and Colombia and back and there's a lot more than this but I will give my more serious and more reflective thoughts on most of these places and it's not going to be pretty all the time uh, there's a lot of things I kind of have on my chest that I would love to share and um, yeah I hope you guys enjoy this new rather 
more critical approach to that journey. Anyways, I hope this was useful and I'll see you in the next video. You guys take care.